Hi all, today we are at a beautiful campus in Kannada with one of the state-of-the-art campuses. And yes, I have had the opportunity to interview the principal of Global Indian International School, uh, Dr. Sharmila. So thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to have an interview and an interact with you. It's been an honor. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm a vice dean of education for Kannada. 10 plus students came and I've always felt that you know, science and arts they complement So when we teach in the class, we talk about education, we talk about creativity, we talk about problem solving abilities for a time. All these are not just science and technology and science, it is also arts. Uh, so if I take a child, if I open the smart board in the classroom and teach geography, the child learns. But when I take the child outside the classroom, the child gets the feeling of science. The child is, has the artistic ambience to explore what the self mind surrounding. So you know, anybody who has an artistic thought in his mind, somebody who has a science in his mind, somebody who is a kinesthetic learner, solitary learner, verbal learner, visual learner, everybody adopts the best way and learns better when they are outside the classroom. So of course arts with STEM is best in the industry. And how has STEAM education like to change the landscape of the classroom? See, when I uh, talk of STEAM, the four C's that comes to my mind is collaborative learning, of thinking, communication, and creativity. So it is the best way that the child learns by giving them a hands-on projects, giving them some uh, real-life examples that the child develops, and allow the child to decide on the project, always role on the project. That changes the entire habits of the classroom. I'll tell you a very simple example when I take a glass of water, when the teacher takes a glass of water and we throw a stone in the water, what happens? The teacher starts explaining the displacement of water. But children are interested in watching the arts, the visibility changes that has happened, the ripples in the water, the stone looks bigger because of the type of glass that is used to build. So children are more interested that way. So we have to teach cause displacement, but of course the art behind what is happening when the stone was put in the water, why the ripples, the change in the beauty and integrate science. So that's how if a teacher explains, uh, you know, the learning becomes easy. What I also feel is the need of the art is we should have a STEAM curriculum, we should have a STEAM teacher uh, and we should have a STEAM lesson plan. That helps all the different types of learners that we have in the classroom to better them. So ma'am, uh, my next question is that uh, in, especially in the current scenario, especially in India, people, especially parents are always in a race and put, making their children an engineer or a doctor or, or whatever it is. And the importance of arts is not given as much as it is given internationally. So what was the whole idea behind incorporating arts in STEAM education? See, when we talk of science, it is just discover and invent. And when we talk of arts, it is uh, create, innovate, think critically. Uh, so th there is a difference in the two. Uh, the, those days are gone, you know, where you have to become an engineer or a doctor uh, to earn more. Now we see there are a lot of streams opening up for arts. But, you know, when a child is in grade 11 or 12, the child has to think, uh, the child is confused because there are a lot of challenges which stream to select. So this arts, the thought behind arts is put in schools. That is why it is STEAM and not STEM. So that they are taught to be critical thinkers from childhood. So that by the time they move to grade 9, 10, 11, 12, they have decided that I will take up journalism, I will take up visual arts, I will take up, I will be a good musician, it could be performing arts. There are so many choices for students nowadays in the world. Whether it is our country, of course, internationally. 
available. Uh, so hence, you know, it is uh, steam is always one level above STEM, and if it is taught in the schools with the proper uh, methodology to implement, of course, STEM will rule the world for the children. So, ma'am, I was curious about this. So how do you think arts can help in finding mathematical solutions? So how can we link arts to math? See, maths can be taught best through arts. I'll tell you a simple example. When we teach fractions in the class, we tell the children to take papers and with the help of the folding techniques, they learn fractions. So whether it's a the shape is a circle or it is a square or it is a rectangle, and especially if you use colored papers. So that is what is art and craft in maths. We also use fractions through the snake and ladder game. That's also an artistic point of view. Uh, and you know, if when yoga is taught in the classes and they are asked to fold legs, if you tell them fold it at 45 degree angle, fold it at 90 degree angle, they learn better. So it is maths that they are learning but of course through arts. Uh, Ma'am, generally they say that uh, thinking outside the box is a great way to innovate or think. So, especially at an era where people are so focused on finding a solution than figuring out the whole process of finding an answer, how do you think STEAM education is going to help in divergent thinking? Uh, see, what happens is when I take the children out of the classroom and bring to this area, whether I'm teaching uh, science leaves or whether I'm teaching maths shapes, what happens, the children only say, ma'am, is this the circle, you know? They point at the, uh, the parks and they say, ma'am, this is the circle. Then they say, ma'am, this is rectangle pointing at the windows, rectangle or square. That is one thing. What I also tell them is, okay, you collect the leaves and you try to match this belongs to which tree. Uh, so, you know, they learn by doing and they really learn a lot. Uh, so, uh, this is what is, you know, thinking out of the box. Uh, Ma'am, so finally, my last question would be, so what is the message you'd like to convey to kids who are currently tinkering in the uh, My message for all students who are in the STEAM classroom should be, do not be a passive consumer of technology, but be a creator of technology. That is what is the need of the art. That's lovely words, ma'am. Thank you so much Thank you. for Thank your you so valuable much. time and your insights towards STEAM technology and uh, information and teaching and learning and all of that. Uh, I hope that uh, a curriculum like this will help build a better future for our country yes, and yes. for making better citizens of this world. Thank you so sure, much for your valuable time. I thank you again. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.